Now we're going to do a construction where we take two angles, add them together to make a bigger angle. So the first step to that is to make one side of our big giant angle over here. That's the first step. Now we're going to do kind of what we did with the copy angle construction. You're going to take your compass and set it to some size which is convenient for you. Some size which is not too big, not too small. And come over here. I'm going to make an arc and make an arc and for these two it's important that they cross they intersect our two sides over here but for the third one I need to make it big enough to accommodate both A and B so in your head you have to come over here and mentally picture what happens if I add A to B it's going to be hmm uh, somewhere in this it's gonna be pretty obtuse so the arc you make on this side has to be fairly large to accommodate that so we're going to make a very large arc to accommodate what I'm going to need to do. Once I have that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to measure A. And once I have A measured, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mark it off. With A marked off, if I had just continued this, um, if I just connected these dots, this would be A over here. I would have copied A, but I'm not trying to A. I'm trying to do A plus B. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to open up my compass to be length B. Once I have those intersection points measured, I'm going to come over here and where I stopped A is where I'm going to start with B. So I'm going to start and I'm going to put this over here. So this part over here is A and this part here over here is B. And so now if I play connect the dots, I know that this is A plus B. For the bottom construction, I'm going to do subtract instead of add. So we're going to start off kind of the same way. First, we're going to make one side of our angle. Then I'm going to make, again, like I have three sets of arcs up here, I'm going to make three sets of arcs down here. I'm going to make sure that the, the first two cross both sides of my angle. Once I have that, I'm going to come over here and make an arc big enough to handle C, slightly obtuse. And I'm going to start with C because I'm going to start, I'm doing C minus 2D, so I'm going to start with C, I'm going to copy C. I'll put C here. If I draw, drew a line, that would be a successful copy of angle C. But I want C minus 2D, not C. So when we did subtracting of line segments, I said you could always go from the right or go from the left. And similarly, for subtracting angles, I can either go from this point here or I can go from this over here. Generally speaking, it's easier to go from over here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure D out over here, where those intersection points were. And once I've measured out D, I'm going to come backwards. Instead of adding on to where I started from, I'm going to subtract. I'm going backwards. So I'm subtracting this way, and I'm going to subtract two of them. So this whole thing was C, and I subtract D, and I subtract another D. So this part is C minus 2D. And there we go.